What's going on guys, Jaguru here, and today we're going to be playing with the Highlander, the reworked Highlander in some beautiful Dominion gameplay. Now, we had the choice of doing this in a 1v1 or a 4v4, and I thought it was better to show him off in a 4v4, and this is because of the way Highlander is now with his Celtic Curse. Being able to switch from target to target is very, very handy. Get a little bit of unpredictability, as well as being able to feint his Celtic Curse into an offensive stance. So you can keep people guessing in a team fight. That, or you could go against a Conqueror, do your Celtic Curse, hit their all block, and then they therefore punish you. Would make me very sad, but thankfully there's no Conqueror on the enemy team. Our team consists of a Conqueror, a Valk, a Kensei, and then me as a Highlander, and the enemy team consists of a Bot, a Shaman, a Kensei, and then a Warden. Who has got the nicest sort of sacrifice brand there from Berserk, and has got an X before his name and after his name. That means he's at least 110% edge. So we all went through that stage, didn't we? Putting X's in our username for no apparent reason. Alright, so we are on the Sanctuary Bridge, and we're going to start by capping A to begin with. Following my Valken Kensa here. And guys, just to go let you know, my Highlander, he is not max geared in the slightest. So, zone C you know, has you captured zone A. Alright, the uh, Valk is having a wee bit of a retarded moment, so I think to attack our own teammates. Oh, nice. Oh. What? There you go. Damn it. Oh. Oh, I'm parried. Damn it. Oh, no. I'm being punished. I'm being skadoodled. There we go. Ooh. Alright, so we've got the kill in the end. Very nicely done. Why can't I not reach him? What's wrong with my T-Rex legs? Blooming stubby little thing, aren't they? Alright. Uh, we're doing this sort of weird stare-off where people just stare at each other. Oh. Right. I'm probably going to die here. Oh. Oh, thank you, Valk. Right, I'm going to head off and go get some healing. There's no point in staying here. I can physically do nothing. Remember, your HP no longer regens. So it's better to go to a point and get some safety. Now we have two points or so, we are still winning, but I think it'd be a bit more better if we could ever go capture C. There is no one currently guarding it or boosting it, whereas I'm boosting A as I am healing. This is obviously going to be much more better for our team, and now that I'm on some form of full HP, I'm going to go over and try and help out our team. There you go. Oh. Oh, dear God, our team had just got absolutely annihilated. Yeah. I didn't actually... I feel bad for doing that, but, you know, in that sort of situation, there's nothing you can do. Just run. Run and try and regroup. There's four of them there. I am not Farum. I am not Spliced. There is nothing I can really do. Oh. Damn it. Oh yeah. No. Mm. I was thinking it was too good to be true. Nice on the fast revive speed. Oh. Oh. There we go. Get off my point. Uh, well, there, there you go. They're dead. Oh. There we go. Lovely. Jubbly. Beautifully done. Oh, and I love this execution. So we are sadly 
no longer winning. But what we're going to do here is put a trap here. One of these traps, you can see they can come around the corner. And actually, yeah, that kind of gives it away, a floating thing. That's, oh, I didn't think it was going to be that obvious. Thought it was going to be like some sort of survivalist bear grills, motherfucker. Right, so we do have now B. Oh, that was a good trade. Oh. Okay, I was uh, trying to block, but I'm not too sure what I actually did there. Yeah, good old Conk. This Conk is a real MVP. You can see he's got the fast revive speed and he's picking us up. Wow. Our Conqueror is an absolute legend. Mm, I wish there was a visible revenge. Zone C is yours. Oh. Marty Dumb. Once again, another beautiful execution. So you guys, Highlander. He, well, I would say there's nothing majorly different about him. The stamina reduction, the damage uh, increase, and being able to faint the Celtic Curse are very nice and welcome changes. You lost well, so I'm not going to say this makes him much more different in... Oh, hang on. Damn it. Ooh. There we go. Beautifully done. On the deck. Oh my god, I was just a little bit too slow. Ooh. Oh, nicely done. He gets the kill. I don't think he's going to be able to resurrect me, though. That execution animation is very long. I just realised that. Okay, so we're going to go back off to A now, because that's obviously been captured, and that is our home point. And we cannot allow our home point to be gone, can we? But yes, guys, back onto the Highlander. While in 1v1s, I don't think there's a massively difference to the way he plays. 4v4, he's still kind of the same as well. It's just that these changes are obviously a lot more welcome. Look, I mean, look at that damage for starters, right? Let's go pick up our Valk. Nicely well done. Very, very nicely well done. Right, and we're going to go put a trap here. This way, if they fall from there, they should hopefully land in the trap. And therefore take a bit more damage. Right, so we also have our stage four feet. Oh. oh. There we go. Oh my god, there's two of these little fuckers. Oh. No, I'm not letting you get me. There you go. Haha. <laughs> no, come on. There we go. Beautifully done. This is one of my favourite executions. Just because it's like such raw power. Right. Let's try and go to C. Capture this, and therefore we can. No, there's someone here, but will I be able to hold up my? There's two people there. No, so no. Right, we've got the Ken. Say he's put the up on. <laughs> Nicely done with the Valk. Beautifully done. Oh. Fucking smoke bomb. Damn it, that smoke bomb. That was. Oh, we've had a rage quit from the warden. That smoke bomb, though, was very, very powerful. Zone C is yours. Oh, 
Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, I can respawn. I don't know why that just happened with me. Okay, so we're going to be heading off after this uh, Kensei, who is just probably going to be a runner. From the fact he's not staying in Fort Jesus Christ, look how well our Konk and Kensei done. I am very, very proud of them. Did I even hit him? Victory. There we go. Nicely done to my teammates. Uh, let's do a bit of an emote as well. So proud of them. So guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video of me playing with the Highlander in some Dominion. While I'm going to say it probably weren't the most uh, exciting game, it just goes to really show that the damage increase, the stamina reduction, and being able to fake the Celtic Curse makes him one. See, he's one of these characters that was naturally good in 4v4 to begin with, and I've always said this, with the crowd control, with the high damage, he is very, very powerful. And the unblockables, of course, I forgot to mention. So, being able to have his unblockables do more damage, cost less stamina overall, and the tracking on the Kabatos being improved, and the Celtic Curse being able to feint that into an offensive stance, and also switch to different targets mid-flow, has made him much more powerful but I wouldn't probably say it's impacted the overall game it's not made him too strong it's just made him a bit more stronger you know he now feels better to play okay like you're this big burly Scottish bloke and you've got a massive claymore and you weren't doing hardly any damage in offensive stance it just felt wrong so I'm rather happy he's had the damage increase Unless I get killed by it, in which case I am no longer happy. And I always cry and say, why Ubisoft, why have you done this to me? Anyway, guys, I did hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please have a like. That is greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, how about you hit that subscription button and become absolutely awesome. And you click on the bell icon to be notified when I upload my next video. Guys, I'd also like to take this time to remind all of you I have a Twitch account, which you'll find that link in the description box down below. And I also have a Discord server, which you can join for the freshest memes possible. That you will also find in the description box down below. With that being said, guys, I am Jagira. All of you have been absolutely amazing for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, and bye-bye.